After a 15 to nothing shellacking by the Stark County Terriers, the Copperheads had to shape up and ship out to play the Grand Lake Mariners. And during the first game, you wouldn't have even known they were the same team. Luis Poyarena said no moss to giving up 10 or more runs. He was a master of the mound, besting Grand Lake's Brennan Glass superb seven inning one run job. He gives the formula for his success. Just location of the fastball pretty much, just hit hit the inside outside corner up down change eye levels and then every once in a while just throw in that that breaking ball just sometimes fools hitters the bats were just good enough to keep the snakes afloat robbie moore's hit off of the pitcher drove in ryan jones for the only run in a one to nothing win moore gives his strategy behind his stroke of luck you no know, i got up no out so it's a pretty easy situation yeah. all i gotta do is you know put the ball in play maybe pop it up to the outfield so i was just looking for a fastball you know anywhere that i could just kind of lift up and uh, actually, I was a little ahead of it. I ended up breaking my bat yeah. on it, but, you know, got lucky, hit off the pitcher's foot. Wes O'Neill's top play was one of the year's best, but Poyo Reyna wasn't surprised by his athleticism. He's athletic. He's one of the, he's probably the most athletic person I've ever seen play that position, you know. Even when he eats, he looks athletic, but <laughs> he's, a, he's a great guy, you know, and I, I have a lot of confidence when he's down there. And in the second game, Andy Carter seized the captain's chair and went to steer the ship to victory but it wouldn't be smooth sailing. He contributed a solid six innings, but couldn't find a first mate in the bullpen to back him up. He says that doesn't diminish the quality of his team. I mean, I always want to get a win, but I mean, we fought hard and I mean, they're not a bad team, so no one's bad. Zach Botcher and Trey Pop sacrificed no earned runs, but couldn't stop the ship from sinking. For the Copperheads, it ended six to five in the ninth on a squeeze bunt with bases loaded and no outs. They must take at least one of two from Lexington to clinch second place. Reporting for the Copperheads, I'm Maddie Kuhn.